Alright guys, let's catch the speed. Ring on the phone. Mm. On the what kind of style lap? Guys, show me no more of chat, guys. Kill me that I mean say it. Come on, my love chat. Four roses, guys. One more. One, I am going over the road to the back of my guy. I'm started. One more rose chat. One more. Come on, guys. One more thing. So I am going over there to finish where I'm start. We can't bother with it. One more. Four roses, guys. Alright, guys. Come on. Guys, we're going to do something. One and double, guys. One and double. Guys, nine point three k for each number nine. Guys, we're going to carry with our number nine, guys. Nine pound three k. On the double, guys. Channel lovers, welcome now. Someone said that Rose's favorite thing is food, and so we just have to work with that. And now we are going to jump into Andre Stevens and people say, so What him love the most is for record people without them knowledge. Now, people, Andre, come out tonight and we're going to tune in because producer Wayne, well, ex producer Wayne, mm -hmm, has come out for. Andre by making various posts, him name some names viewers, and him said basically then if Andre don't have anything to hide, then what is he worrying about being put out there if him never recorded some big wigs, people, confessions, things pertaining to C R I M E, things pertaining to M U R D E R, murkings of people. All kind of private things that people think say are just a one on one thing them and him did depend. Well, they were in fact being recorded, and we hear say the way the some them deep and dangerous when a cast life might a cast what well, know what, right? Now we're gonna tune in because Andre get very emotional. Wanna give on the views, please, in the comment section. All right, don't forget to like as well and share the video. All right, mommy. That's one of the attorneys calling me. One of the attorneys whose name was mentioned. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. But I'll pull through. I'm going to pull through right now. Thank you to the court. Subscribers, in the meantime, while Andre is pulling through, please like. Just stay with me. Thank you, Lord. Christ, then I cannot be happy. I only live my life to please. I only live my life. Well, ask a question. The people them also had it demolished last year, October. How come nobody no do no feature upon them and say we are they now? Only remember the people them at Clifton, where them demolished them house. Who remember the houses in Clifton, in Portmore? Viewers, you know that we come with facts. So this is the Clifton St. Catherine demolishing why andrea talk about all right where the people them they put in money think them own land this that the other build them house and everything and get turned off right we're gonna go back for hear what the professor has to say people tune in you see me i'm a survivor i'm a survivor i don't know about you but my life story should be called Survivors Never Quit. My life story is called Survivors Never Quit. My first book 
when I'm launching my first book, it's going to be called Survivors Never Quit. Today, the Lord said, wear shades of blue, Andre. And I said, why blue? And so you come in so many forms of the blue. Wear shades of blue. And I took all the shades of the blue to wear tonight. If you love how your professor looks, say, I love you, my professor. If you love how your professor looks nice and clean and comfortably in I'm one bedroom, say, professor, you're nice and clean and comfortably in your one bedroom. Professor, you're nice and clean and comfortable in your one bedroom. Repeat it after me. Professor, you look nice and clean in my one bedroom. Last night, me talked to you about mental health. Did you all understand about mental health when I spoke last night? I want to ask again, people. And when I did so, there were sensitive informations that were shared with me. And I recorded them without their consent. Yes, I recorded them without their consent. But as a media person who was learning media for the first time, doing all that I was doing, I was advised to record the conversations so that those who and I are part of a team would also hear the conversation so we could write the script together each night. Also, listened equally to all of those conversations. Many times, the producer equally is on the next side of the phone line recording the conversations. Now, Jamaica, those conversations are now being threatened to be released. Now, for the persons who are curious as to whose conversations are being threatened to be released, so the names them the people from Nigel Clark, go down to Bobby Montague, go down to everybody that is somebody that you can think about in society where if things go against them in these recordings, it could mean worries. We're going to go back right now to hear what he has to say about recording these individuals on the ear said that Wayne is the one who do most of the recordings. But we could go back over now people and don't forget to like. I am very sorry to have been misguided and did those things to them. I am very sorry that that happened and names have been called on social spaces people's names have been called and I am saying if the voice notes come out and lawsuits come the lawsuits come and I'll just have to deal with them I really apologize to those doctors those politicians those lawyers and the very ordinary Jamaican who called me and gave me information about deaths and murders. They're using those sensitive information to try to tear me down and pull me down. What I'm saying to you, just as how the other voice notes have been released, others will come. But when they come, many sensitive things were discussed and it will drag me down, it will pull me down, it will disappoint me that they're out there. But I have to accept my faults and I have to accept that I trusted somebody who was also a part of my production team. When this happened to me again, possibly can, possibly won't.
But I know this too shall pass. I remember telling the public that if anything should happen to me, the recordings are not in Jamaica. You remember I said that to you guys? Remember I said to you, if anything should happen to the producer, to, the, to me, I am not in Jamaica. The things would not be in Jamaica and they would be released. You remember I said it to you all, that if anything should happen to me, people all over the world would have it, that they have on me to stifle my credibility. To stifle my credibility and possibly let me lose my life. Because high-level delegation of people spoke to me in confidence. But I was wrong to record them without their consent. But I took advice. I took advice from my producer to do so. And now that said advice is now turning me in the back to pinch me and to stab me. But uh, what I'm going to say to you, Jamaica... If the voice notes are released, I am prepared mentally for them. If the voice notes are released, I am prepared mentally for them. Legally, I'm not prepared. But I'm prepared for them. And let me say again to all those whose name has been posted, I categorically, emphatically, sincerely apologize to you all. And if you wish to take legal action against me, I will accept the legal challenge. But I'll ask all of you to keep me in your prayers. I'll ask all of you to keep me in your prayers. As I weather this storm. In the meantime, viewers, subscribers, you are being invited to watch the ads. Please share the video, like, and comment. No, I have some questions for you. Now, had you been in the position of Andre Stevens, well, I said, I don't know what I mean. How would you have addressed this and agree with him? Two, if you were in the position of Wayne, how would you react? You know, what would you do? People, I want to hear from the two standpoint. And if you were among the persons listed, the persons who were recorded, what would you have done as well? Please face off in the comments. Don't forget to hit that heart with the dollar sign if you are able. And come back to this here channel for another upload.